So, uh, Kenza Kuyajima, yes. uh, first of all, thank you for coming to the studio and make the interview. Thank you very much, Mama. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. <laughs> so, we're going to ask you about the Urawa Red and uh, Japanese mm -hmm. League. So, we, we, we started with the uh, Urawa Red. Mm -hmm. so, can you introduce yourself uh, okay. as a, you know, a representation of the Urawa Reds to the, the fans here? Okay. Um, uh, my, I'm Kensaku Yajima. Uh, I'm responsible for the, um, the director of the business development of the Urawa Red Diamonds. Uh, responsible for the like, business strategy and uh, all yeah. the stuff. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, Urawa Red considered has a very huge fans here, mm -hmm. I mean, one of the biggest in, in, in Indonesia for mm -hmm. the J-League club. So, but not, not of them probably knows the history of the Urawa Reds. So yes. Can you explain the history of Urawa Reds since the, the beginning of the, ah, okay. the club? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Urawa Reds is originally uh, established as a, like a company based uh, like a football club, okay. as amateur club. Yes. Uh, it's originally uh, like a Mitsubishi heavy industry. Mitsubishi is a, a football club uh, for the company employees recreation. Oh, so the first of all is the, the club for the employees, right? Yeah, that's right. And what years? It's uh, 1950, I think. Ah, 1950, yeah. Yeah, and then later on, uh, 1965 or so, uh, yeah. Japan uh, established uh, like amateur uh, football league. Okay. So maybe uh, Mitsubishi joined uh, part of the league. Then uh, in two, 1993, uh, Japan uh, established a new like a professional league, J League. J League, that's yeah. right. Then uh, that the company based uh, football club turned to the like a professional. That oh, so from the amateur to the professional in '93. Right. That's right. So that Mitsubishi is uh, you know, I think the uh, main body of the teams. Okay. Then uh, you know, turned to the professional. Then just the uh, company just took away. Uh, then, uh, then the just uh, you know uh, owners of yeah. the teams. Crafts. So that's the the story behind that. From the the change from Mitsubishi Urawa to Urawa Red Diamonds in '93. That's correct. To join the professional mm -hmm. J League. Okay. That's right. So uh, uh, this is curious for me that every logo of the club has a story mm -hmm. like Persija they have their own story about mm -hmm. the, the community about it. Mm -hmm. can you explain about the Urawa Red Diamond story okay the, um, the logo I mean that's a flower what okay. kind of flowers or the uh, building yeah we, we say this is a red uh, rose uh, it's a uh, I think that uh, I don't know much about it <laughs> anyway so it's, this is a big building this is uh, uh, now uh, you know uh, you know, Saitama University. It's in oh, this is Saitama, Saitama University. University. Uh, back basically uh, more than 100 years ago. Yes. This is a teacher's training college. Okay. So where uh, the Japanese football uh, was born. Oh, started from the football in college. That's right. I mean, uh, firstly, uh, uh, Japan was introduced by the foreigners of the football. Yeah. Then first uh, uh, played in Japan is here. Uh, oh, Saitama's uh, like a yeah, teacher's training college. That's the first play. First, uh, first football game. Yeah, that's right. First football game. So, teacher training college. That's right. In Saitama. That's right. So, that's the, the story of the, the building, some kind of like that. That's right. So, oh, we expected that the building. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah very interesting. <laughs> so, besides that, you have a new mascot. Mm -hmm. uh, they call it the uh, Redia. Redia. Shade. Yeah, there's a four. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. So can you tell the story? What what ah, kind okay. of mascot is that? It looks like a dog, but it's not a yeah. real uh, animal. Okay. Then the, you know our fans and supporters are so conservative, and uh, it, actually they don't like them to be in the pitch. Yeah. But uh, uh, we have the also women uh, teams. Yes. So you know, so more like a children or right, uh, so, you know ready so coming to the stadium mm -hmm. so they like the mascot so in the women's on, only women's game match, yeah yeah they uh these mascots are in the on the pitch in the picture okay. then yeah <laughs> so there's a uh, there's four mascots four mascots oh, okay jadi itu adalah sejarah dari urawa right 
Dan kita akan sambung di segmen berikutnya tentang apa achievement dan lebih dalam lagi tentang uh, Urawa Red. Oke, okay, kita sambung lagi tentang uh, diskusi kita dengan uh, Kenzaku Yajima dari Urawa Red. Dan kali ini kita membahas tentang pencapaian-pencapaian Urawa Red yang tentu menjadi salah satu tim uh, terbaik atau terkuat di Liga Jepang saat ini. So, Kenzaku. Yes. So, Urawa Red become the champions of the... Uh, how do you call it? Uh, Champions, Champions League. League. Champions League for yes, three yeah, times. Yes. 2007, 2017, mm-hmm. and 2022. Mm-hmm. So you can can you uh, tell us the story behind it? How the you know, excited one of the yeah. players and the, the fans about that? Yeah, we are. Uh, you know, mm, our target is to become the Asian champions, and uh, you know, it, we became uh, fortunately we came. Uh, became a uh, champion three times but uh, actually we are uh, qualified to the I mean advanced to the final for five times then five times five times so 2000 and which uh, year? it's a uh, 2000 uh, first of all you you, you, yes. win the cha- you win the Champions League in 2007 uh-huh then 2017 and 2022 uh-huh. so then uh, anyway the 2018, we are beat by the Hill in the Al-Hil, final. yes. Uh, we became, uh, you know, mm, the second place. Yes. But uh, last year, yes, uh, we, you know, we became a champion. I mean, we beat it out here. Yes. Because we tried to revenge the because revenge. we. Yeah, because we lost, lost the game in 2018. We are ah. just uh, targeting to beat them again uh, out here. So that's why uh, the last year, you know, we, we did it. Yeah. So that's the most memorable game. game. <laughs> Because you <laughs> lost did. in 2018, then right. you revenge in 2020. That's right, that's right. Okay. So besides that uh, uh, Champions League, mm-hmm. what others uh, achievement that Rawa uh, retained? Yeah, actually we in the JD, we, we just did the only one time for the championship. Champ- yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, a lot of the, uh, like, a, like a, uh, for example, uh, Emperor's Cup. Emperor's uh, Cup is considered like the same like FA Cup? Uh, no. Something like that, yeah. Okay. And the uh, uh, Ruban Cup, it's a JD Cup, we say. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, we, we did uh, some uh, championship we uh, did. And, uh, so the champions uh, of J-League in which season? Yeah, you got 2006. 2006? Yeah. Also before you qualified to the 2007? Ah, that's right, that's right. Uh, champions League. Okay. Actually, you know, it used to be a J-League with a two-season uh, systems. Okay. Then we, actually, we became a champion the first half of the champion. Oh, this is same like in... in Argentina, Apentura, right, and right. Uh, something like that. Yeah? But uh, at that time, you know, we lost in the in the second, <laughs> ah, a, okay, second round. Yeah, the second eventually, round. Uh, all, we, we just uh, achieved only one championship in 2006. But other than that, we I think we did two twice uh, for the you know uh, as a wha- half half season champion, mm. and also as I said, like uh, some uh, like Emperor's Cup or Ruban Cup, uh, we we, we uh, achieved the championship. Okay. Right. So, in your opinion, is mm-hmm. I mean, who is the the best player? Mm-hmm. Okay. So far oh. for the Urawa Red Diamond. Yeah, a lot of the legend player we have like originally Mr. Fukuda. Or I'm not sure if you know that. Fukuda, him, but, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, like uh, Takahara. Takahara, I know. Shinji Ono. Shinji Ono. Uh, now, uh, and Mr. Endo, he's still playing for the Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, Mr. Hasebe, yeah, he's Makoto Hasebe. Makoto Hasebe, he's playing in uh, Frankfurt. Frankfurt. I think Makoto is, uh, in my opinion, in your one opinion. of the best players in Urawa because. Uh, he and now he's still playing. Yeah, right? that's right. He's in, already at the age of 40. 40. Yeah, that's right. And playing in, in Germany. That's top right. Flight. Actually, that's right. Actually, we are partner club uh, of the Eintracht Frankfurt. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Urawa Red and Interfamily is partners. Now. Yeah, that's right. And then, yeah, we have a lot of communication and, uh, you know, uh, have opportunity to speak with uh, Mr. Hase, Makoto Hasebe. Yeah, Makoto Hasebe. And uh, he's so smart guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
He's yeah. the captain of Japanese national team. That's also. right, used to be, yeah. So uh, he knows a uh, lot of things about uh, like uh, club management and uh, 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 how how he can become their athlete for yeah. long time, such kind of stuff. So yeah, he's in that point of view. I think he's the best player. Yeah. So he, he has also become the uh, like ambassador for Japanese football in Europe. That's right. right that's right. Okay. So in terms of the rivalry. Mm -hmm. Every every club in the world they have a rival like Persija will the rival with Persebaya or uh, Persib. Ah, so okay. Urawa Reds, mm -hmm. who's the big rival of Urawa Reds? Ah, okay. So in J League, uh, historically we had a long uh, rival relationship with like uh, Osaka, Gamba Osaka, Gamba Osaka, or Kashima Antlers. Kashima Antlers. Yeah, right. yeah, those two are a yeah, big rival for us. But uh, in the Champions League, Asian Champions League. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, Alhila. Alhila. <laughs> <laughs> because one time you lost yes. the finals, and then the next uh, you you win the, the yeah. Final. They are so you know a kind of it looks like a representative of the Saudi Arab Saudi Saudi Arabia uh, national team. So you know, so and I heard that and on the uh, final of two thousand and two, you hold the like the most attendant crowd in the in the stadium. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Seventy. 2076. Uh, something like that, yes. Full mm -hmm. house in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Urawa Stadium. Mm -hmm. yeah, usually, the champ uh, final game of the Champions League, Asian Champions League, yeah. Yeah, the you know, our stadium will be full. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's very, uh, you know, hard to get the tickets. Yeah, yeah very, very difficult to, because you have a large uh, amount of the supporters in, in Japan. Right. right? Okay, so. Uh, can you tell us more, more specific about the, the Urawa boys? I mean, how fanatic they are uh, and, and how they the impact mm -hmm. the performance of the, the club. Yeah, they, they are so passionate. Yeah, they, so. Uh, they keep on jumping oh, yeah? for the 90 minutes. And as I said, like, they always come to the game, in, even though in the away game. You know, far away. Yeah. Uh, even in the like uh, Saudi or uh, oh, yeah. like, overseas. Qatar or overseas. overseas. Yeah, that's right. So uh, and then they don't get any like uh, they don't want to get any returns from us from the club. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they voluntarily do that by themselves. So uh, and then sometimes in the game uh, they uh, make a very beautiful uh, like a uh, visual or like choreography. Oh, in the stadium. Yeah. It's, it's very beautiful. You, you may check it. And yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's for us the same with the Jack Mania. Also yeah, yeah, the yeah. Stadium. They sing every, right. uh, every time yeah, they yeah, yeah. finish the game. Yeah, the, the bottom line is that, you know, they try to... Uh, the, 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 the aim of uh, coming to and supporting us is just to uh, make us win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, very, uh, you know... Um, how can I say it's uh is there, is there it's any, all. <laughs> is, there, is there any pressure for the players when ah. you, when they come to the stadium? I mean, full house seventy two thousand. They want you to win the game. Mm -hmm. So, is there any pressure for the for the players to play? Uh, I don't think that's a pressure for our player. They try to make pressure to the opponent. Yeah. So that's uh, I think yeah. Everybody say like uh, it's a. Uh, it's big, good for the player. Yeah, yeah, good for player because there's a pressure they, for the opponent. They, yeah, and then they can be encouraged by them always so, I mean, so they can be the player, extra players. power for the yeah, that's players right, that's right yeah 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 that's why that in 2007 i i read in the, in the, in the mm -hmm. news that uh urawa red hold the highest average mm -hmm. attendance supporter in the stadium in uh -huh. saitama 46,000. Mm -hmm. something like that yeah, yeah. yeah but average right mm -hmm. so that's the that's a very big amount of the supporters mm -hmm. so is it good for, for, for not only good for the for the players but mm -hmm. good for the club? That's for, right. That's right. So that's why this how how important mm. this uh, Urawa Red boys to the club. Yeah, they uh, they can support us uh, in terms of the, of course for the players and yeah. for the club. Then uh, actually uh, during the COVID period, uh, like the last uh, three or four years. We had a difficult time uh, for uh, club management because, yes. uh, yeah, it's a uh, Japanese government guide, guideline, made, made a guideline uh, that, you know, half of the capacity or uh, 
uh, less than 1,000. Yeah, only, anyway, only, anyway. only only less only of uh, one thousand people oh, uh, can uh, and attend the stadium. That's right. That's right. Then, actually, our you know club management, uh, you know, bar seat is uh, kind of kind of uh, bad shape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, they now finally they return to the stadium, like uh, last year to this year. So it's going to be uh, more encouraging to the players and also to the club itself. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I hope, we hope, um, we want to um, closer to the record we uh, achieved in the past. Yeah. yeah. More and more. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the tenor of the, the crowd is very important for the club. That's right. In terms of economic. That's right. right? That's right. And, and as you know, then in the last, uh, in, in the COVID mm -hmm. time, two years COVID, I think in every club in the world has a problem with the financial because mm -hmm. of the, the fans cannot attend the stadium. Right. Because uh, in the Europe, I think. Uh, yeah. I think they can get uh, some broadcasting rights okay. uh, from overseas, yeah. but uh, you know, in Japanese football, sometimes it's still hard to mm, get yeah. such kind of uh, revenue. So mm, it's a it's a good uh, um, encouraging for them to come back to the stadium. Yes, of everybody. It makes everybody happy. Not only yeah. the club, only right. also the players. Because when when you play without supporters, mm -hmm. feel like. Something that's missing, right. right? That's right, that's right. I think you, you, you know. Yeah, I was surprised. So <laughs> yeah, every time we play, it. we want our supporters to support us mm. so it look more alive. Yeah. Okay, so Urawa Red Diamonds is, is mm -hmm. uh, one of the founders of the J League mm -hmm. in 93. Yeah. So can you tell us the, the story behind it? Uh, yeah, as I said, like uh, originally Japan, uh, I mean Mitsubishi, uh, you know, Mitsubishi's uh, amateur uh, football club is the origin of the Ura Red Diamonds. Yeah. And then, yeah, before uh, the establishment of the J League, uh, there is a like amateur league that uh, consists of the, some uh, Japanese uh, big companies like Mitsubishi, Hitachi, Toyota, so or something like that. In the beginning. Uh -huh. Most of the club is from the company, yeah? That's right. The, they try to use their sports as a promotion for the promotion of, for the, of the company. The, ah, yeah. Uh, so, maybe for Mitsubishi, mm -hmm. like Hitachi, Hitachi like Toyota, Toyota. Or, uh, yeah, the subject like that, yeah. So, they, they promote the, the uh, how do you call it, the company with the sports club. That's right. But still amateur. Still amateur. 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 Uh, so, then they decide to make the professional, professional. League in 93. So they all change from the amateur names to the professional. That's right. That's why we, Urawa um, slash uh, Mitsubishi is uh, one of the founder of, uh, I mean, the, a, with the original a Red diamond is, is the symbol of Mitsubishi, right? That's right. You know, Mitsubishi three, is three diamonds. Three diamond. And red, three red is the, the color. Yeah, of the that's why the Urawa red, red diamond. Yeah, diamond. That's right. Ah, I see. <laughs> So, jadi teman-teman itu tadi beberapa pencapaian, beberapa cerita tentang uh, kesuksesan dari Urawa Red dan uh, kita akan istirahat terlebih dahulu. Di segmen berikutnya kita akan kulik lagi tentang sepak bola Jepang dan Urawa Red, Urawa Red lebih jauh lagi. Kita lanjutkan obrolan kita dengan uh, Ken Sakuyajima tentang uh, Urawa Red dan sepak bola Jepang. Nah, di segmen terakhir ini, segmen ketiga, kita akan bahas uh, sedikit tentang bagaimana sepak bola Jepang dan para pemain Jepang yang kita tahu akhir-akhir ini atau ber, mungkin 10 atau 5 tahun terakhir ini banyak bermain di Eropa. Kita akan lanjutkan uh, interview dengan uh, Yajima. So, Yajima, yes. uh, can you tell us about the philosophy of Japan, Japan football? Oh. Philosophy of Japan. Okay. How how Japan I think you know Japanese football is uh, mm, more like discipline. Yeah, 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 like more discipline. The, the respect the discipline. I mean, the, I think it originally comes from the, our education. Uh, yeah. From the like elementary school to the junior high or something like that. And then the, we are you know by nature we are get used to be uh, disciplined. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You know, in terms of like a creativity or something like that. Yeah. Like for Brazil, it's different. Um, yeah, Brazil is more like free. <laughs> more free, yeah. 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 But uh, for example, Germany, uh, they, uh, 
like the same story they like they uh, respect their, like uh, discipline yeah that's why uh, now in the Bundesliga there are so many Japanese, Japanese players, players right and uh, yes I sometimes uh, talk uh, with uh, German uh, like coaches and then they say like uh, they are uh, uh, the reason why their opinion is that, that they are um, the you know Japanese players uh, respect the discipline that's why that is a uh, Similar to their mentality. The I mean, mentality is similar uh, yeah, to Germany. Yeah. So the backbone, I, if I can say, the backbone of the Japanese football is the high school from mm -hmm. the from the university, college. Mm -hmm. Then, right. because of the discipline, so mm -hmm. Japanese can grow very fast in, in football. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this is quite interesting because mm -hmm. J League is established in ninety three. Right. But only you only take five years. That's right. So you can play in the World Cup ninety eight. Mm -hmm. Then after that, mm -hmm. since until now, Japan's always uh, go through the World Cup. Right, so right. What's the, the secret secret mm -hmm. behind it? What is the recipe? Mm -hmm. What's the you know Okay. I, I don't it's, it's my opinion. There yeah. is no special, you know, recipe or secret but uh as you know, you know, there is the World Cup came in Japan in two thousand two. So uh, our Japanese, uh, like, uh, like JFA or uh, Japanese officials, try to enhance uh, our national team. Uh, so, you know, like uh, five or ten years plan. Yeah. Then I think the J, J League is one of the, you know, uh, like uh, tools to become the, like, uh, you know, enhance, I mean, the make the uh, Japanese football strong. Yeah. Then uh, in the process, uh, yeah, we established a J League and, uh, you know, we try to, uh, mm. uh, you know, based upon the J League philosophy, um, you know, JFA tried to um, est establish the local uh, club and uh, like a pitch in e everywhere in Japan. So the idea is to, to build the J League to for for the two thousand and two World Cup. Mm -hmm. But only in five years then you go to so it's wrong his process. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's the first time mm -hmm. this is the first time a Japan go to the World Cup, right? In ninety eight. Ninety eight, that's this is the first time. It's mm -hmm. the it's the time of the uh, Nakata. That's right. Yeah, then Nakata. we are not able to get any points. The next round, right? right. <laughs> uh, I think you, you got you got lost uh, against Argentina or something. Argentina, like that. Jamaica, Jamaica, no? Croatia. Yeah, Croatia, yeah, oh, Croatia. Oh. That's the first time. But right. until from from starting from ninety eight mm -hmm. until the last World Cup, you mm -hmm. always qualified. That's right. So that's a quite huge huge achievement for for the for the Japan football. Step by step, I think it's a process. Do you think that you, you, you're gonna win the World Cup one day? One day, yeah. One we day. always try to become the champion. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, yeah, eventually, mm, yeah, in the last uh, World Cup game in the Qatar. Yeah, in the yeah, Qatar. So nobody, I think, expect to go through the group stage, I think. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, because there was Germany. There's Spain. Yeah, <laughs> so nobody expected, but uh, yeah, sometimes uh, there is a lucky, lucky game, but uh, you know, uh, I think they try to uh, like with me, I mean, get uh, some points, yeah. Uh, and you know, the, the good thing about Japanese football is you know, you play a compact as a team, mm -hmm. even though you're probably you're not quite high, you know. Like uh, physically, you That's are smaller right. from the others, but mm -hmm. because you are tough, you are fight right. every time mm -hmm. until the end. So that's why sometimes you can beat the the, the big the big team like like Germany, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Spain probably. So mm -hmm. you can go through the last last sixteen, and that's uh, for me. It's not a surprise, but for the, for the uh, for the people normally, oh, you can beat the the big club. So probably, mm -hmm. but. The thing, this is the, this point, mm -hmm. especially for me, mm -hmm. is because uh, you guys beat Indonesia in in, in Asia Cup. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in this Asia Cup, so you beat mm. to to uh, Indonesia to Asia Cup. But uh, that's that's the, the many things that we have to learn from the mm -hmm. Japanese football. Okay. So, the next one is mm -hmm. 
Now, mm. as we know that mm. many of uh, Japanese players mm. play in Europe, not only in Germany, but there's right. also in, in England, mm. two in uh, Scotland, right, right? Right, right? Scotland, then I don't know, in Italy they have in Spain. Mm. Uh, uh, in Spain they have one player, so I forget. Uh, um, in Oviedo, Real Oviedo, the small guy. Uh, the, uh, okay, uh, uh, the Takubu. Ta uh, uh, the Wait, I forgot. We will check. I will check. Kubo, Kubo, Kubo. Yeah, Kubo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Takefusa Kubo. Kubo. Lupa. Sorry, sorry. Tahunya tadi Subasa Osora. That's right. Okay. So. How do you think about that? I mean, mm. how does this, this, this impact for the Japanese football? Is that a good thing that many uh, players play abroad or is this not a good thing for the G League? Uh, that's right. Um, yeah, as you know, you know, Japan, it's a very short story of the football. Yeah. Yeah, originally, I think we have a longer history uh, in baseball. Yes. Yeah. Uh, baseball come, come Sohe Otani. <laughs> Otani, that's right. Sohe Otani, I know. So we still, I uh, know, 30 years since we had a professional league. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, of course in Europe, mm -hmm. more than 100 years of history they have. So we respect their history and, uh, you know, mm, it's a good uh, process. So, yeah, we are trying, always we are trying to learn from them. Yeah, so uh, you're saying that uh, it's good for Japanese football because they learn something right. new mm -hmm. about football and right. they bring it back to Japan. Yeah, that's right. The, so the sometimes the, some ones play in Europe, and yeah. sometimes they come back to J-League and, uh, and bring uh, some uh, experience. That's right. And, and uh, give them the impact, that's how, right. especially about how they think about, that's right. about football. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good, uh, um, you know, um, ecosystem yeah. we are making, that's right. Yeah. So it is just, uh, I just know that in Japan the most famous sport is still baseball until now. I think so. Uh, yeah, baseball, football, baseball, football, some, yeah, yeah, we have uh, some uh, like... Uh, but mm. in the last few years, football become uh, mm. growing very fast. That's right. Um, yeah, my concern is that the football is uh, as you said, like uh, Japanese football is, you know, I think getting better. Yes. But uh, sometimes the popularity of the, you know, uh, the, the, this uh, the player, society. Just the environment society. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, not so, not so um, big as, as biggest, a, uh, uh, compared with 30 years ago. Ah, yeah, because they have, uh, mm -hmm. have a long story of... Uh, Journey of uh, in, in mm. Japanese and and a lot of the you know uh, entertainment right now ah, other than s uh, sports uh, so it's very uh, hard to com compete with these uh, entertainment I think I, I, I that's my opinion ah, okay. so now Japanese in the in the uh, FIFA rank is number eighteen oh okay highest in the Asia mm -hmm. so is that the impact of the players who play outside or mm. is the impact because of the J League is so strong, so they mm. build a good national team. So, which one do you think? Ah, it's very hard to answer the question. Because in the, the in, in the last in mm. the last Asia Cup, I think mm. most of the players play in in, in, in Europe. Europe, that's right. Only a six or a seven few, players. Yeah, a few, a few players, players from play in J League. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's a good things to be evaluated by the uh, uh, foreign countries, and uh, it's gonna be a good uh, you know. That's the reason why the many foreigners want to come to J League also. So it's a it's a good uh, good things. Uh, um, but uh, I think uh, you know mm, my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Indonesia is the same uh, region uh, in Asia, like Eastern Asia. Yeah. So we have to grow together. Yes. Then uh, I wanna like uh, become more. Uh, yeah, Asian football can be uh, more um, advanced. That's right. So, but now I heard that one in Indonesian player play in Japan. Uh -huh, that's right. Uh, Justin mm. Hubner, he played for uh, Sereso Osaka. Sereso, oh, okay. Yeah, Sereso, he, yeah. he loaned from the, from the 
English side, mm -hmm. Wolverhampton. Mm -hmm. So he's a uh, our Indonesian player. So hopefully he can he can he can do good job. Yeah, there. we expect uh, like uh, more players come from the Indonesia, and more players from go Japan, to yeah. yeah. Also <laughs> in, in procedure, there's one one Japanese one Japanese uh, player. Ah, that's Ryo right. Matsura. That's right. He's, he's doing quite good in, in oh, procedure. Good. Sounds good. So, the, uh, Japan have a hundred years vision of football. Ah, okay, yeah. It started, I don't know, in, in 1993 probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, can you tell us about uh, what kind of program is that? Mm, yeah, and uh, when the J League uh, started, they uh, provided some kind of uh, hundred years vision, and then in based upon that vision, uh, like uh, each local community has uh, like a uh, football pitch and uh, the, their regional sports club in each, in each places uh, or in Japan. Um, yeah, um, Laurets is also correlating to that, uh, you know, and, and this vision. vision. Our mission vision value is also, uh, you know, the same kind of uh, uh, philosophy we have. Yeah. And uh, also we are now trying to become the, mm, the window to the world through Saitama, yeah, through yeah. the football. So, such kind of vision we are uh, trying to achieve. That's why we are now coming to Indonesia. To, Indonesia. <laughs> and have, to expand you know, the, that's right. the, the, the Urawa red that's football. Right. Because last 30 years, we are you know, busy to um, be uh, Maintain the domestic uh, like a uh, internal league, yeah. but uh, we have to grow together yeah. in Asia. That's why Urawa. Uh, I think Urawa has a responsibility to do that. Yeah, Urawa is part of the hundred vision right. uh, J League. Mm -hmm. So you you probably in the end, mm -hmm. like you said before, that the aim is to win the World Cup for Japan. Mm -hmm. That's right? right. That's right. Okay. And as you know, also that now at the moment, PSGTV is broadcasting J League live in Indonesia. It's the first time. That's good uh, since. <laughs> so, will be m more uh, game about Urawa and more <laughs> J League. So, yeah. how do you think about that? Yeah, it's a very good thing for us. You know, um, as I said, we want to become the window. Uh, of the to world, the world. To the world. <laughs> but uh, if you know, I s if I say this to Indonesian, uh, you know, if if there is no uh, broadcasting in in Indonesia, nobody no. knows about, <laughs> about Urawa, but right. Japan uh, Yeah, that's why. And that's a very good, uh, um, you know, uh, how can I say, good to start to pay attention to Urawa and the J-League. So, and then uh, if the more people watch the uh, J-League and Urawa, I think we have a more opportunity to come to, you know, uh, Indonesia to have uh, some kind of like uh, events. Yeah. Uh, maybe in the friendly match in the future, or, you know, uh, more opportunity to grow together. Yeah, and it's also an opportunity for us, for Indonesian football, to learn mm -hmm. uh, about the Japanese football, so yeah. we are, can can be closer or at least right. uh, develop uh, right. as fast as we can to be. M maybe can be like a Japanese league in in the future. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we also want to learn from the Indonesian league as uh, uh, football uh, players. Uh, for example, like uh, as you pointed out, Japanese player is a uh, kind of physically, um, you know, weak. not not weak. tall. Yeah? <laughs> That's right. I think uh, I think like like yourself, you yeah. was pretty uh, f strong enough for <laughs> physical. <laughs> That's why yeah. we hold, I think you know we we have a lot of things to we can learn from you. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of like a. Uh, Exchange your knowledge, knowledge and, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, important for us. Yeah. So, what do you hope mm -hmm. about uh, for Urawa and mm -hmm. J League in the future, especially in, in for Urawa in this season? Because ah, okay. I think now it's uh, already played three games, right? That's right. 
one win, one draw, one draw, <laughs> one loss. So, uh, how do you think about the, your expectation on on these seasons? Yeah, of course, we are try always trying to become the champion, get the championship. And yeah. uh, as I said, you know, we have only one time championship in the J League. In J League, uh, and then. And also, as I said, as said, the last year we became a uh, uh, champion uh, of the AFC Champions League. Right. Then that uh, um, that we we are because of that we are qualified as a rep representative of Asia in a new formatted uh, uh, Club World Cup in Club World Cup 2025 in the US. Oh, okay. So uh, we are now targeting to become the like uh, you know get the presence in uh, world I mean over all over the world. Yeah. So uh, so you know in the process we we need to get uh, some uh, J League champion in this year. Then in next uh, ne next year uh, probably in the champion. <laughs> 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 World Cup. So okay. this year you hope to be the champions to. To prepare the, the team That's right. to play in the World Cup, uh, Club World Cup in right. 2025 right. in USA. That, that's right. And, and for the Japanese football, Japanese football. Yeah, uh, yeah of course. Uh, you know, um, you know, Wirawa wants to contrib contribute to their you know national team also. Then they eventually uh, become the like uh, you know champions of the World Cup game in the ne uh, in the future. Uh, anyway, so without it, want to contribute to more for the Japan national team. How uh, many, how many players, how many Urawa players in playing in national Japan national team? Ah, uh, right now, you know, it's like uh, Miss uh, it, Ito, Ito, he he's uh, sometimes uh, selected as a uh, like a national player, but uh, he has a uh, some injury and uh, ah, okay. but then, like a Zion Suzuki, he's a goalkeeper. He's now in the uh, in. Uh, Belgium uh, team. Uh, oh, Belgium. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he's uh, oh, yeah, rented yeah, yeah. from. Uh, he's, he's, he was grown in the. In, in Urawa. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, th 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 under under uh, generation, uh, we have some players, but. Uh, in junior. In, in, yeah. Okay, so uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much for, uh, for your presence here and very, very good. Much. We talk about the uh, mm -hmm. knowledge of the Urawa Res about the Japanese football. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you but very much. Uh, at the end, we, I want you to, mm -hmm. to say to the camera that in, in Bahasa, uh -huh. to invite them to watch the Urawa and J League in PSC TV. So I say it first okay. and then you <laughs> follow me. Okay. Right? okay. <laughs> so. Oh, you can you hear. Oh, this way. <laughs> so, saksikan, saksikan, urawaret, urawaret, dan sepak bola Jepang, sepak bola Jepang, hanya di PSJ TV. Hanya di PSJ TV. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Bamba. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank you. Jadi, terima kasih teman-teman. Terima kasih. Uh, terima kasih. Sorry. Terima kasih. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Terima kasih banyak. Sama -sama. <laughs> Jadi itulah teman-teman uh, interview saya dengan Ken Sakuyajima, salah satu director di uh, Urawa Red Diamonds Football Club yang menjadi salah satu klub paling sukses di Jepang, terutama di kompetisi Asia. Dan uh, terima kasih sudah mengikuti. Terima kasih juga terima kasih terima banyak. Uh, Ken Saku. Kita kembali kita di special interview berikutnya dengan pemain-pemain atau manajemen klub-klub Jepang yang lain. Semoga interview kali ini dapat menambah pengetahuan kita tentang sepak bola, terutama sepak bola Jepang. Dan jangan lupa saksikan selalu J League hanya di PSC TV, karena PSC TV adalah home of J League in Indonesia. Sekali lagi saya Bang Pamungkas bersama Kensaku Yasuma, Yajima. Terima kasih, sampai jumpa di acara berikutnya.